Lost media has been defined as any media that no longer exists because of being deleted or destroyed, is missing due to some sort of archival issue or oversight, or is intentionally no longer available to the public. In the realm of Hollywood, there are quite a few films sadly no longer available for us to enjoy. Studio fires are one of the biggest culprits for these losses. Countless films have been forever lost in blazes, like the 2008 Universal Studios fire, the 1937 Fox Vault fire, and the 1965 MGM Vault fire. Keep watching to learn about several classic films that are missing footage that has never been found. Fantasia Disney's 1940 animated musical anthology film is considered by many to be one of the greatest animated works of all time. The film consists of eight animated segments that are set to pieces of classical music performed by the Philadelphia Orchestra, conducted by Leopold Stokowski. It was originally released as a theatrical roadshow, with stops in 13 cities across the U.S. between 1940 and 41. While now considered a classic, Fantasia initially failed to make a profit, largely because of the European market being cut off by the Second World War. While the majority of the film remains intact, the original nitrate audio negatives for several scenes deteriorated decades ago. Disney brought in a voice actor named Corey Burton to re-record all of these lost bits of dialogue and re-release the film as the original cut in 2000 for its 60th anniversary. Metropolis Fritz Lang's 1927 science fiction drama was one of the first silent films to explore the genre. It's heralded as being one of the most influential works of science fiction to ever hit the silver screen. Set in a futuristic dystopia, Metropolis follows the tale of Freder, a well-off son of the city master, and Maria, a saint-like figure to the working class, as they overcome the enormous class divide in their city while uniting its workers. A quarter of the movie was believed to have been lost until 2008, when an almost complete print was unearthed in Argentina. While most of the film has since been restored to its original glory, there are still five minutes of footage that remain lost. The Idiot Legendary Japanese filmmaker Akira Kurosawa wanted his 265 minute 1951 film to be shown in two parts. But when the studio balked at this idea, the film was cut down into a much more accessible 180 minute version. When it was poorly received after its premiere, it was cut once again, against Kurosawa's wishes, down to 166 minutes. Sadly, no print of the original version is known to be in existence. Before his death in 1998, Kurosawa spent a full week digging through the studio archives looking for the original tapes. Unfortunately, he came up empty-handed. The Wolf of Wall Street this 1929 pre-code drama, directed by Roland V. Lee and starring Olga Baklanova, Nancy Carroll, Paul Lucas, and George Bancroft, was originally a silent film, but was entirely refilmed with sound, making it Bancroft's first talkie. It followed a plot involving a ruthless stock trader who corners the copper market before short-selling and making a fortune. After amassing that wealth, however, his life and relationships all fall apart, ultimately leaving him with nothing. Only a few montage sequences of the film survive to this day. One was released in 2005 on a DVD collection called Unseen Cinema, Early American Avant-Garde Film. The Red Badge of Courage John Huston had extremely high hopes for his 1951 war film. He even at one point considered the original two-hour cut of the film to be the best he'd ever made as a filmmaker. After battling with higher-ups at MGM, the film was cut from its original two-hour runtime to the 69-minute version released in theaters. After early showings received horrible reviews, the film was never released as a feature and instead was shown as a second-rate B-flick. Houston and actor Audie Murphy tried their best to buy the film's rights so they could re-edit it and release it at its original length, but their efforts proved fruitless. It's thought that the unseen footage was destroyed in the 1965 MGM vault fire. A Star is Born The original cut of this classic musical ran at 181 minutes. For its general release, Warner Brothers cut the film to 154. For years, that's the only version of the film that the public had access to. But in 1983, a 176-minute cut of the film was released featuring the original multi-track stereophonic sound as well as several scenes that hadn't made it to the final cut. Production stills filled in for missing footage, but it's rumored that a complete print exists. It's a mad, 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 mad world. When Stanley Kramer's classic comedy film premiered in 1963, it ran at 192 minutes. 
The movie was edited down by the studio to 162 minutes for general release. In the 80s, 20 minutes of previously thought lost footage were discovered in a warehouse slated for demolition. In 1991, this footage was restored and the film received a re-release. The remaining 10 minutes of scenes were tracked down in 2013, but unfortunately, a majority of the scenes found were still missing some footage or audio. These missing pieces are thought to be forever lost since the original 70mm prints have long been destroyed. Firelight at age 17, Steven Spielberg directed his first film. The 135-minute film cost just $500 to produce. It premiered at a local movie theater and generated a profit of $1. The film's plot followed a team of scientists who investigated a series of peculiar colored lights in the sky and the mysterious disappearance of people, animals, and objects around the fictional American town of Freeport, Arizona. Spielberg later returned to the subject material for his third full-length theatrical release, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. While film lovers would no doubt love to see Steven's first work, only 3 minutes and 40 seconds of the original footage has been released. That accounts for just 3% of the original film. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly Clint Eastwood's classic 1966 Spaghetti Western from director Sergio Leone is missing two completed sequences. One involves Blondie foiling Tuco with the help of a Mexican sex worker, and another is a sequence where Angel Eyes explains to Blondie just how he came about learning of Jackson's gold. Both scenes were cut from the American and Italian releases and are believed to be lost. A small clip of the former sequence was used in a French trailer for the film, while a number of production photos provide evidence of the existence of both scenes. 2001 – A Space Odyssey After Kubrick's 1966 epic sci-fi flick premiered, he cut 19 minutes out of it for general release. 17 of those 19 minutes have since been discovered in a Kansas salt mine where a number of other motion pictures were being archived, while the remaining two minutes are nowhere to be found. The Last House on the Left This 1972 horror film was unusually graphic for its time. Because of this, many cinema operators made their own cuts to the film to tone it down a bit. Sadly, this means the majority of versions of the film are missing entire scenes while others are missing some audio. A complete version is thought to be lost forever. The Wicker Man The original negative and several film elements of Robin Hardy's 99-minute 1973 folk horror film are lost and only survive in low-fidelity tape recordings. A social media campaign was launched by Studio Canal in 2013 in hopes of tracking down some missing footage. This resulted in a 92-minute 35mm print being discovered at the Harvard Film Archive. This led to the film getting re-released as a special Final Cut edition a year later. While that cut is probably the best we'll ever get, there are still seven minutes of footage missing. Now it's time to hear from you. Can you think of any other films or TV shows with lost footage? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.